that need to be solved that have been given to us to solve it. Alright, let me start. What is geometry actually? Hmm, it's kind of interesting to explore. Geometry is the branch of mathematics that deals with the shapes, angles, dimensions, and size of a variety of things we see in everyday life. Other than that, geometry is a Greek word consisting of geos, earth, and metron measure which means at measuring. In ancients, the Egyptians, the Romans, and the Greeks used geometry in the word of architectural construction. It was used to solve most problems from building construction to astronomy. Geometry has been the subject of countless developments. As a result, geometry was created out of necessity by the ancient Egyptians to solve most problems from building structures to astronomy Navigations. There is two pre-modern mathematics known as geometry and arithmetic. Geometry is the study of angles, lines, parameters area, and volume, whereas arithmetic is the study of numbers. We will also emphasize on geometric measurements, including lengths, areas, and volumes of various shapes. Geometry affects us in the basic details of our daily life, such as getting a scan done, creating an image or an animated video, building our house, decorating the house, and many more. This group assignment, which is a mission for us, is something that we must figure out related to the application of geometry in real life. The introduction is successful to deliver. <coughs> My name is Nur Balkis Najwa and I'm going to be the second presenter to solve a question related to geometry which is a pyramid that we found exists in Paris, France. Before that, it is really an honor to tell the audience about the somewhat related pyramid that is famous with the name Louvre Pyramid. The pyramid structure was initially designed by I. M. Play in late 1983 and presented to the public in early 1984. Louvre Pyramid was built and opened fully to the public on 1 April 1989. 
The Wood Pyramid is a large class and metal structure designed by the Chinese American architect. Mm. After doing some research and analyzing the structure of the pyramid, records state that the Loop Pyramid consists of 603 rhombus shaped glass segments and 70 triangular glass segments. Also, have metal poles that integrating 85 tons of steel and also 105 tons of aluminium. It's quite amazing, right? You also will find, will find 171 pins on three sides and 160 pins on the fourth side, which has the entrance to the pyramid. The pyramid also is about 21.6 meters tall, covering a base surface area of 1,000 square meters. The square base also has size of 34 meters. And now, I'm going to solve a mission that has been given to me related to this pyramid. This is the mission. Alia was very interested in the France architecture of buildings. When Alia watched a film called Lupin on Netflix, she found out a unique building architecture that was included in that film, which is known as Loop Pyramid. Hmm. Because of that, she wants to know more in details about their architecture background about it in order to complete her subject task. Hmm, what is the task? The task that are given to her was she must find out how many total lengths of legs were able to cover up the perimeter of the whole site for all each of outside the pyramid. From the introduction, I was able to analyze and use two information, which is the square base length and the pyramid height in order to solve this question. Hmm. Firstly, in order to find the perimeter, we must know the slant height of each triangle surface of pyramid, which is uniform. The slant height can be known and solved by using the Pythagoras theorem skills. Then, um, the square base length, 34 meters, which is will be the adjacent, is divided by 2, which is will get 17 meters. Then, the opposite is the height of the pyramid, which is already given in the previous 21.6 meters tall. Then, the slant height is the hypotenuse. So, the answer for the slant height is equal to 27 0.4875 meter. Then, from the slant height value, we were able to find the side of the pyramid, also by using the Pythagoras theorem skills. The adjacent is 17 meter, which is the square base length divided by 2. Then, the opposite is the slant height answer, which is 27.4875 meter. The hypotenuse is the one we must find out the side value for the upper pyramid. So, the answer for the earth side value for upper pyramid is equal to 32.3197 meter. Next, the total value of upper pyramid must be multiplied with 4. It is because the total side of upper pyramid is 4. So, 32.3197 meter times with 4 equal to 129.2788 meter. After that, the total size value of the square base can be solved by multiplying 34 meter with 4, then will be get equal to 136 meter. After that, the perimeter now can be solved by adding the total size value of upper pyramid and the total size value of the square base. So, after that, the perimeter of all sides of pyramid is 129.278 plus width, 136 meter equal to 265.278. So, the conclusion is the total length measurement use of lights to cover up the sides of the pyramid is 265.278 meters. Now, you already get the perimeter. After that, mission has been completely success. Hi, my name is Fatin Ra'alia. I will be the third presenter 
to solve the second mission related to a geometry case, which is to conclude a food with sphere size. It is called cake pop. Let's start with a little history of the cake pop. Cake pop is a form of cake start as a lollipop. It is from cake crumbs that are mixed with icing or chocolate and will be rolled into a ball. In other words, it will form into a small sphere. Sphere is a symmetrical geometrical object. In a non-mathematical usage, the term is used to refer either to a round ball or its two-dimensional surface. After making it into the desired shape, it will be coated with icing, chocolate or any other frosting and will be placed on a stick like a lollipop stick. Cake Pop was invented in 2008 by a popular baker blogger named as Becquerella. She started out by taking introductory classes in cake decorating and also started her blog. On 1st February, she had posts about her cake pop creations and it soon went viral. Because of that, she was soon invited on a show to showcase her baking skills. The cake pop increased in popularity between 2009 and 2011 and now it also become more popular among people all over the world, especially kids. Here are the problem statements that were given to us. Amani and her friends wants to visit an orphanage. They decided to buy some cake pops for the 12 kids in order to make them happy. Then, they went to bakery shop and get a few of them. But they are not satisfied with the cake pops. So, they decided to put chocolate fondant on the surface of the cake pops. Because of that, they have to find how much volume that they need to cover the 12 surface area of the cake pops and how much the cost of the chocolate. From the problem statement, Amani and her friends have to find and calculate the volume of the cake pop before and after covered with chocolate, total volume of chocolate usage to cover 12 cake pops, and also the volume and the cost for the chocolate that will be used. As we know, the shape of the cake pop resembles the shape of a sphere. Therefore, in order to find the volume of cake pops, we can use the formula of volume of a sphere which is V equals to 4 over 3 pi r cube. After making some measurements, we found that the diameter for the cake pop is 4 cm. So, we automatically know that the radius for one cake pop is equal to 2 cm. Now, the volume of the cake pop before covered with chocolate can be solved by applying the value to the formula as we shown. Now, we have the volume of one cake pop before we cover it with chocolate, which is 33.5238 cm3. The thickness of the chocolate that will be coat the surface area of the cake pop is 0.5 cm. If we have to find the volume of the cake pop after covered with chocolate, we have to add 0.5 cm with 2 cm, which is the real radius of the cake pop, to get the new radius after covered with chocolate. Therefore, the volume of cake pop after covered with chocolate can be solved by applying the new radius to the volume formula which is V equals to 4 over 3 times with pi and times with 2.5 cube. Then, the answer is 65.4762 cm cube. Furthermore, Amani and her friends have decided to bring 12 cake pops, so they need to know the total volume of 12 cake pops. In order to know how much volume of chocolate that will be used, we have to find the total volume of chocolate usage to cover the 12 cake pops. For that, the value for volume of cake pop after and before covered with chocolate will be subtracted and the value will be multiplied with 12. So that we already have the total volume of chocolate usage to cover 12 cake pops which is 
383.4288 cm3 Next, we need to find the total volume of chocolate that is needed to cover 12 cake pops and the cost. As we can see, the chocolate that will be used is in cubic size. So, to find the volume of the chocolate, we must use volume formula for cuboid, which is length times height times width. The chocolate measurement states that the width is 8.5 cm, length 19 cm, and the height is 1 cm, so that the volume for chocolate is 161.5 cm3 each. In addition to know how many total chocolate bar that need to cover 12 cake pops, we must use ratio formula which is total volume of chocolate usage to cover all cake pops over volume of one chocolate bar. So the answer for the ratio is 2.3742 rounding to 3 bar of chocolate. If we only take 2 bar, the volume is only 323 cm cube. So we have to use 3 bar of chocolate to make sure all the cake pops is fully covered with chocolate. The ratio of volume chocolate must be more than the ratio of chocolate usage volume in order to all the 12 cake pops fully coating. From the market price, the price for one chocolate is RM9. Because we use 3 bar of chocolate, then the cost for chocolate is RM27. To finalize this question, the total volume of chocolate to use that they need to cover the surface of the 12 cake pops is 383.4288 cm3 and the cost of the chocolate used is RM27. Mission successful! Back with me your first presenter. I'm going to conclude the whole mission of our task in this video. As mathematics student, it is important for us to study geometry in order to increase the power of thinking to think outside the box. The introduction of geometry increase our knowledge to some extent. Then, by solving the first case, we are able to apply the skills of Pythagoras theorems to find the value of all sides of the pyramid. By doing that, the perimeter can be solved automatically. Next, by solving the second case, we get to develop more skills in geometry, which is the volume of certain foods to be used in order to try a new recipe if interested to try a business in the future related to cost taking. Besides these two geometry cases that have been solved by us, the application of geometry also can be found in computer graphics and computer animation. It provides the framework and tools for solving problems in two and three dimensions. If we are constructing a 2D space, then we use two basis vectors. If it a 3D space, then we use three basis vectors. All points in that space are represented via a linear combination of those basis vectors. Computer animation can allow a single graphic artist to produce such content without the use of actors, expensive set pieces or probes. To create the illusion of movement, an image is displayed on the computer monitor and repeatedly replaced by a new image that is similar to it but advance slightly in time. The games we play also use geometry to find relevance between the distinct and shapes of object design. At the end of this assignment, which also a tough mission for us, we are able to learn that studying geometry provides us with many foundational skills, helps to build our logical thinking skills, deductive reasoning, analytical reasoning, and problem solving skills. That's all from us. Thank you. Mission accepted to be a success.